my fellow YouTubers. There's some more interesting stuff I found on Edge. This was a pamphlet, an article that was released in the Miami Herald back in 46. Here's a picture of Ed and his wheel. There's the pipe. There's the mechanism on top of the pipe. And this right here is that bracket. So we'll start off over here. It's called magnetic base. He says radio waves cannot be made without electricity, and electricity cannot be made without north and south pole individual magnets. Electricity is made of two different ways. One way is by a generator using free circulating magnets that are circulating in and around the earth and the other way is to use the bound magnets that hold together matter especially zinc when zinc is put into acid in a battery and the right connections are made then the north pole individual magnets will come out of the battery's positive terminal and the south pole magnets will come out of the battery's negative terminal. And they will come out of the battery as long as the zinc lasts. And when the zinc is gone, the magnets will be gone too. Physicists tell us that each atom which builds up zinc has 30 protons and 30 electrons. But when zinc is taken into parts by acid in a battery, then only north and south pole individual magnets come out of the battery, which is so true. And not a single proton or electron show up. Jesus Christ, that's, that's, so, that's so true. Remember, this is 1946. From this you can see that physicists are basing their thoughts on non-existing things. In fact, all matter and everything everywhere is held together by a north and south pole individual magnets. The magnets are the base of everything. They are the cosmic force, and they operate everything, including our body. If you want to know how magnets contract muscles, connect each end of, the, of a fresh terrapin muscle, I guess a fish, and each terminal of the battery, then you will see how muscles are contracted. I have been working a while on acid. Takes, I have been watching while acid takes in parts of zinc and many other things. Everything is taken into parts by acid. The first thing I see is a very small bubble beginning to come out of the matter. When the first bubble appears, then a succeeding bubble co are coming out of the first bubble and are running or are coming out in a regular line one after another. When the first bubble swells up, then it contracts in the middle and cuts off a new bubble. And then it closes up in the outgoing end and then swells up again and goes over and over again. These bubbles that leave the first bubble act like small magnets, and some appear to have magnet, magnet poles. Most of the bubbles join the other bubbles, and some of the bubbles absorb many other bubbles before they themselves burst and disappear. When the zinc is taken into parts by acid, the magnets which hold together the zinc go into bubbles, and when the bubbles burst, the magnets go into the air in the Earth's general circulation, back where they came from in the first place. But if the zinc is in the battery, then the magnets go into the battery's terminal. I only use three kinds of acids, hydrochloric, sulfuric, and nitric, but use many kinds of matter to experiment with. For the best results, different matter needs different acid to dissolve it, but every kind of matter produces bubbles, and each kind of bubble smells differently. This su suggests a question. What causes us to smell and then to go further? What causes us to taste, feel, and see, and hear? You already know that magnets can contract the muscles, and smelling, tasting, feeling, seeing, and hearing is only one step in contracting the muscles. 
All functions in our body are performed by north and south pole individual magnets. And I get an amen there. When we smell, the outside magnets come in contact with the inside magnets. So we feel the sensation that they produce while they are passing by and through the nerve cord or tube. And the same thing happens with our outer senses. Our eyes are like a broadcasting camera. They send out magnets and receive back the image from the objects we see. Many of you notice if you are looking with a concentrated look at somebody's back, while the person doesn't know it, the person is liable to get restless and look around. I have noticed sometimes I can chase the mosquitoes away <laughs> From the way, fr uh, from from the wall, by only giving a sharp look at them. Acid. What is acid, and what gives the acid the ability to take the other matter in parts? For instance, zinc acid. And the bubbles that are coming out of the zinc are held together by themselves by the same kind of north and south pole magnets. And why acid, which is one kind of matter, can take another kind of matter in parts? The acid atoms must have a smaller orbit and, and a few magnets in it than the other matter that it takes in parts. So he's saying the smaller the orbit... Um, will be able to take over any other kind of matter, same molecules being different sizes, same chemical. In that case, that acid atoms can get closer, and in the other matters, atoms orbit and peel one off, one magnet after another, until the bigger atom matter is gone. The one who will find out exactly how it is done will be the real scientist. You go, you guys. Radio waves are not waves. They are north and south pole individual magnets, which are coming out of the transformer of the secondary winding coil ends. One half is going up into the air, and the other half is, is in the ground in increasing and decreasing numbers. The numbers are regulated by the transmitting tube and the speed by voltage. Remember that, guys. By the speed of your voltage. So your voltage is controlling the speed. The increasing and decreasing magnet numbers cause the receiver's antenna to generate a tiny current to start the amplification to reproduce the original broadcast. The magnets are not running up into the ionosphere and down again but are running horizontally until they are lost. Those magnets which go up to the ionosphere never come back as radio waves to the receiver. They only, they only cause the ionosphere magnets to come back to, come back to the Earth as a radar wave. Magnets do not run in the way radio waves draw drawings show. Sound base. All branches of science lack a sound base. Electrical engineers know how to make and manage electricity, but they do not know what electricity is and how it runs in the wire. Without knowledge or without knowing it, they have no sound base to stand on. Radio engineers cannot make radio waves without electricity, but electricity cannot be made without magnets, and so the magnets are the base of electricity. So on and so on. Perpetual transformation is going on in the earth all the time. When atoms burst in the middle of the earth, the magnets are running out from the middle of, and so cause gravitation by attracting the matter that is in front of it. We'll have to get into some, some stuff about levitation too because we know what's pulling everything down, so we need to figure out how to reverse them poles. All right, you guys.
ten minutes of glory. Peace out. Leave you upon it.